Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. So today is Friday, and it is the first week in August. I'm so excited because I get to use my new budget sheets, and wow, August already. So let's take a look. Let's get into this. Okay, guys, so previously I was using a sheet like this. It's got all the weeks and it has all my paydays all written out and you can see august 5th this is how i was doing it. it was just writing them out putting the bills on there and then finding out what we had left over so i got inspired and i did a budget sheet i actually have two different ones but we're gonna try the first one and it seems i already need to tweak it a little bit so let's take a look at this so the income is 910 and like the other sheet but it is very uh detailed so house is 300 comcast we own or we owe nothing because we have 189 eighty nine dollar credit which is awesome. Uh, State Farm is 158. Nipsco went up 50 bucks, guys. And we're not doing anything different. And I went around the house and unplugged a bunch of stuff that wasn't uh, being used. And it didn't seem to make a difference. <laughs> Isn't that how it goes? And then uh, the only other thing we have is I paid um, $150 to uh, two different credit cards, but what I did, so it says I have 202 left over. I actually um, do, but this uh, 150 I paid out of my overtime money. So I actually only have 164 in my account. So, <coughs> oh, excuse me, guys. So this 202 is going to go for, we need some dog food and stuff. <coughs> so I don't want to write the actual... Um, what we're going to put towards it until we actually know. Um, I'm trying to budget, um, I want to budget 140 and see how close I get. So I don't know if I should just write that in there and then maybe I will do that. But I kind of wanted to, um, I think I need to tweak this and put this overtime income um, up here at the top under this one or put um see what i mean like i'm not really sure like should i split the overtime income and then move the two credit cards that i'm paying you know what i mean um i'm just not sure about that so i i need to do so i'm use, gonna use it this month and then i will see like reevaluate it and see what I need to move around. I know this week it's kind of confusing because I actually paid these two with this. So yeah. Okay. So nothing in debt snowball this week because most of our bills come out at the very first week of the month. And, uh, the debt that we're working on is a loan for my brother and we didn't pay anything. So the total we've paid was 5,500 so far. And then investments in my Robin Hood is 140 and that was out of my overtime as well. And then my side hustle is not finished. So they're doing a challenge um, on, so, and they do like a, if you do so many, if you do thir three surveys for five days, they'll give you an extra five bucks. So we're in a seven day for five bucks um, <laughs> this week. So. Um, I won't know until next week what my side hustle money is going to be. But there's my sheet this week so far. And um, yeah, it needs a little bit of tweaking, but it's way better than I think this. You know, this is kind of um, real rough. I mean, it's easy, but this I can actually see where the money is going. I want to start tracking a little bit tighter. Um, especially on like our leftover money and a lot of our leftover money we've been putting towards debt snowball so I will be able to track exactly how much um, we have there and then um, that brings me to um, 
Oh yeah, and I wanted to show you guys. So I was previously using this little notepad too uh, to do the same thing of this other sheet. So I was doing it in multiple places, basically the same thing. So I don't really need to do that anymore. Um, but I kind of do because I like to keep track of my overtime um, hours. But I put it on here so then I can get rid of this. So that's that's really good. All right, and then um, I actually, do you guys wanna see what I um, bought on my Robin Hood? Yeah, let's do that. Okay, since I'm here already, let's go to my Robin Hood. Okay guys, so my Robin Hood account is at $879.57. Yeah, I've been chucking all kinds of um, extra money in there. So, uh, let me go over my positions and um, you guys can see exactly what I have. So, for Tesla, I'm at 0 0.285764. So, yeah, of shares. I'm trying to build this up a little bit as I can, but man, have you guys seen how high... <laughs> Tesla is jumping every single day. They're going to be back in the thousands before I can even get there. So, all right. And Glad, I have um, 7.01. Previously, it was four. So, I bought three of those. Uh, Ford is at three shares. Uh, KRO, two shares. Main, one share. Stag, one share. Uh, AMCR, three shares. EFC, three shares. ORCC, two shares. Uh, POTX, two shares. I bought one share of this. Um, I'm hoping it jumps up there and does a little bit better. O, I bought uh, a little bit. I think it was um, like $25 worth. So now that's at 1.62. Um, ACRE, two shares. CSWC, I bought another share of that, so two shares of that. Oops, sorry. I bought another share of GNE, which is now at 2.55 shares. And I added one, which was ICL. So let's go to there. So this ICL group is actually... Um, so the average cost is 9.58 a share. I own three shares and yeah, so I mean it's not doing real good, real good, but, um, this is one I've been following for a while. So ICL group engages in the manufacturing of mineral based products for agriculture, food, um, and engineered materials markets. So its products include pot ash, Phosphate fertilizers, specialty fertilizers, functional ingredients, flame retardants, and uh, magnesia products. So everybody knows um, I'm in, into gardening really good, and this is hot market right now. So everybody's trying to grow and put up, they're putting up greenhouses and all kinds of stuff. So I, I want to get into something that I kind of believe in. And this company was founded in 1968, guys. So the dividend uh, yield is 5.20. Um, and you can kind of see 52-week high was 12.96. Uh, let me go down a little bit. There you go, 12.96. So they haven't always done really, uh, really terrible. So they're growing since 1968, but that was one that I added. And if you look at the look at this, so and this is what I was really impressed about. So they were kind of trudging along, 2019, and then here's the dip of the pandemic. Look how small it is. This is what really, really started impressing me. So this is the the dip right here for from the you know and then look at this growth look at that growth and then um, you know we're in a recession right now so that's why it's down a little bit more 
but look at that that crazy growth man um, that's just phenomenal so people are starting to get into their gardens they're you know growing their own food and then this right here is the recession that we're in right now and then it is already so it went up from let me from 898 to 956 already so these are the ones that you want to watch guys the trends like these I mean it's telltale sign the, this company is doing really well and they're bouncing back and there's reasons why these companies uh, do very well all right guys that's all I wanted to share you share with you is my new my new um, budget sheet and my positions on my on my Robin Hood yeah it's crazy look at we're doing we're doing really good but I've been chucking like all kinds of money in there so um, that's why this is so high Man, I've been putting like $16, $12, any, anywhere I can get my extra side hustle money in there, man. I am like full bore right now. All right, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one.